Hello learners, today in this video we are going to learn 8th standard science chapter number 14 measurement and effect of heat. In the previous standard we have already learned about how heat is transferred. So in this session we are going to learn more about heat and sources of heat. Before we get started let's take a look at the agenda. The model of the session is sources of heat where we will get acquaint ourselves with different sources by which we received heat followed by next module three mechanism by which heat get transfer that is conduction, convention and radiation. Lastly we will see some more effects of heat. In this session we will get familiar with vocabulary words like expand, contract, emission, joule, calorie and many more. Let's begin with our model that is sources of heat. First we will get familiar with heat and its definition. Heat also known as thermal energy is a type of energy that can be converted from other types of energy. Thermal energy is necessary to sustain life. We use heat energy for various activities like cooking, ironing, transportation etc. As per the definition of heat, it is defined as the flow of energy from a warm to a cooler object. The direction of flow of the heat energy takes from the substance of higher temperature to the substance of lower temperature. There are many sources of heat but the following are the main sources of heat. Sun, earth, chemical energy, electrical energy, atomic energy or nuclear energy. Let's get familiar with the different sources of heat. The first source is sun. The energy of the sun is the original source of most of the energy found on earth. We get solar heat energy from the sun and sunlight can also be used to produce electricity from solar cell. The sun generates energy from a process called nuclear fusion. During nuclear fusion, the high pressure and temperature in the sun's core cause nuclei to separate from their electrons. Hydrogen nuclei fuse to form one helium atom. During the fusion process, radiant energy is released. Next source of energy is earth. Geothermal energy is the thermal energy generated and stored inside the earth crust. The center of the earth remains at the same temperature as the sun which is nearly constant due to the continuous process of nuclear fusion. Due to such high temperature and pressure some rocks melt and heat coming from these molten rocks is nothing but the geothermal energy. Next source is chemical energy. Chemical energy means the energy which is stored in the bonds of chemical compounds that is in molecules and atoms. Mostly when the chemical energy is released from a substance it is transformed into a new substance completely. Following are some sources of chemical energy. Wood. Wood is an easily available source of chemical energy. Coal. The most basic source of chemical energy is coal. Photosynthesis and 
electrolysis. Let us see some example of chemical energy. The dry wood is the storage of chemical energy. When it burns, the chemical energy is liberated and converted into light energy and thermal energy. Please note that the wood transforms into ash which is a new substance. Another example is the food we eat is also another appropriate example of stored chemical energy. Released during digestion, the molecules in food break down into small pieces. When the bonds between these atoms break, a chemical reaction takes place and new compounds are formed. And as the bond break, the oxidation, the oxidation takes place instantly. Next source of energy is electrical energy. Electrical energy is a form of energy resulting from the flow of electric charge. Energy is the ability to do work and apply force to move an object. In the case of electrical energy, the force is electrical attraction or repulsion between charged particles. Examples are electric press and electric heater. Next source of energy is atomic energy or nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is the energy in the core of an atom. Nuclear energy is discharged by nuclear reaction either by fission or fusion. In nuclear fusion, atoms combine to form a large atom. For example, the sun produces energy using the mechanism of nuclear fusion. In nuclear fission, the division of atoms takes place to form smaller atoms by releasing energy. For example, nuclear power plants produce energy using nuclear fission. Let's see the example of uranium 235. In the nucleus of each atom of uranium 235 are 92 protons and 143 neutrons for a total of 235. When a uranium 235 nucleus absorbs an extra neutron, it quickly breaks into two parts. This process is known as fission. Each time uranium-235 nucleus splits, it releases two or three neutrons. Next source of energy is air. A large amount of heat is present in the air around us. Now next is classification of heat. Heat can be classified as hot and cold. Hot means object which high heat content are defined as hot. Examples of hot objects around us include the sun, fire, hot pans, air from a hair dryer, lava from volcanic eruption etc. Objects with lower heat content are defined as cold objects. Examples are ice, air from an air conditioner, cold drinks, metal vessels kept in open or cold winter days etc. Now next is mechanism of heat transfer. There are three modes of heat transfer. Conduction, radiation and convention. Conduction and radiation are fundamental physical mechanism while convention is really conduction as affected by fluid flow. Let's focus on the 
topic effects of heat on an object as it becomes hot that is there is rise in temperature it expand in size it changes its state as such as water boils to form water vapor so let's summarize what we have learned in this session pupils got familiar with sources of heat like sun earth chemical energy etc they also come to know three modes of heat transfer that is conduction convection and radiation lastly we they got acquainted with effect of heat like expansion rise in temperature change in temperature etc this is all for today's session thank you